Well, fall is upon us. It's getting a little cooler. Here in New Orleans, it's less than 90 degrees. It's like 85. So that means break out the sweaters on Cooking Under the Influence. We're going to make some soup. Something I started calling accidental soup because it was quite an accident when I made it. We're going to warm your heart with some nice soup on Cooking Under the Influence today. Thing about great thing about soups letting it simmer for a while is the cooking doesn't get in the way of the influence. Hello and welcome to Cooking Under the Influence with me, your host and chef du jour. I'm Sean. Did you do something different with your hair? Today I'm cooking under the influence. I have an interesting recipe. An interesting soup made with squash and Italian sausage. Like I think my last one, calzones, it was just like, what's in my fridge, what can I make? This one's kind of like that too. Anyway, before we do all that, as all good chefs know, we need a drink. We're gonna put a little twist of homegrown lemons. I have so many freaking lemons in my, on my tree, it's not even funny. Today's drink is vodka and soda. I made like a million of them into lemon marmalade, which was delicious by the way. But God, it takes forever to peel and seed all that stuff. Sure, why not? Part like your mama. Ah, refreshing. So let's get started on accidental soup. How did I come up with this recipe? Like, well, what do I have in my fridge and how can I put that together? And what came out this soup was outstanding. And you vegetarians are gonna be very disappointed, so too bad. All right, chicken stock, Italian sausage, and squash. First time I made it had this white squash, this flying sausage looking things, but these are curtain neck squash because they didn't have any at the grocery store. Fuckers, naturally. Make something that turns out great, then you can't get the ingredients again. The hell, people. So anyway, these things very much like those squash, so it should be fine. Okay, since we're making soup, a soup pot would be nice, I'm guessing. Chicken stock. You can use broth if you want, but stock has a lot more flavor. It's great. I don't really care how you make it. I care how I make it. I'm not nearly verbose enough. I need more to drink. How are you going to cut the squash? It doesn't matter. You'll see why later on. But why do we call it squash? I don't know. Maybe it's some Indian word. I didn't know the gourds had a family. But apparently they do since squashes are part of them. I'm going to get a little frying pan here. I told you a while back Italian sausage was like a completely different animal from andouille and smoked sausage and hot sausage and all that. And it is. And it was deserving of its very own episode. Here you go. Italian sausage. This is green onion sausage. You can use smoked sausage, hot sausage. Uh, not Italian sausage. Italian sausage is not the best in jambalaya. Italian sausage is going to be a whole different episode. So stay tuned. Pig intestine. How much fun is that? We're going to open up the casing and get the meat out. This part's exciting. Take your little knife. Go down the middle of the sausage. Make sure it's nice and sharp. I'm not going to say what this looks like I'm doing, but all you males in the audience can relate to how this sausage feels. Well, actually, I hope you can't relate to how this sausage feels. That would be, God, I feel bad for you. All right, since this is intestines, we're gonna think of this as poo, and we're just gonna move all the poo out of the intestine. This is a very graphic show, clearly. That's it. Here's what's left over of your casing, and you have nothing but beautiful, pure sausage meat right here. Lots of it. Now, if you want to alter this recipe, you go right ahead, because this isn't a freaking recipe. This is just what I had in my fridge, and it came out so freaking good. That's the best part of cooking, is experimental cooking. I don't know how it's going to turn out. It may suck. If it sucks, give it to the homeless. 
They love that shit. All right, this is starting to boil. Pop them in the chicken broth. Try not, not to, try to keep it in the pot. I'm debating if I should put more stock in there. I don't put much stock in squash. What happened to your hair? All right, let's get a sausage. Put that in the frying pan. How much sausage? You saw how much that was. I don't know how much it weighed. Smells like dead flesh. Mm. We'll get an onion. This is a red onion. You can use white onion, yellow onion, green onion, freaking purple onion. I don't care. I love dead flesh. Pull the peel off, obviously. You don't want onion paper in your soup. I'm going to chop this onion up. Not too fine. Kind of coarse. How long do you cook your sausage? We're just browning it. We don't have to cook it all the way through. Add our onion to it. Fabulous. Remember why I make this show. I make it to show you how easy it is to cook well. Time for a refill. True, some of my stuff turns out like crap, you know, but hey, that's just freaking life. I'm not going to make a deliberately crappy episode. Because that wouldn't be fair. Caramelizing the onion. Caramelizing is just a fancy word for cooking the onions. It has nothing to do with caramel. I don't know if you can see through all the steam, but you can see these onions are starting to get kind of translucent-ish, which is kind of where you want them. All right, while that's doing its thing, let's start spicing up our soupy part here. Put a nice big glob of garlic in there, maybe the equivalent of six cloves. That's a big teaspoonful. I never give a shit about measuring stuff. All right, how long do we let this cook? Till the squash gets soft. These squash seem nice and mushy. So here's a fun little device I got. I'm gonna post a video of why I got it. It's gonna be like a cooking under the influence short. Mayonnaise. That's gonna be a fail video. You'll see. This is a stick blender. In your soup, and we're gonna puree that stuff. Make sure your cord's not burning on the stove. Okay, so instead of having a pot of boiled squash, we have this nice thick stuff here. Awesome. Oh, I love Italian sausage. Oh my gosh, so good. All right, this is where the weird part comes in. Take a brown Italian sausage and your onion. I just put that in there after you pur pur puree the uh, squash. If you're fat conscious, if you want to cut down on fat, then you can uh, probably not watch this show. You are gorgeous just like you are. If you're ugly, then be nice on the inside because you've got to have something going for you. So this is just some this is just some ground sage. We'll use that. You can use fresh sage. I don't care. And some thyme. Thyme. Who has time for that? All right. Now, if you've got shit in your fridge, put it in there. Parsley, oregano, uh, cilantro. Or not. The heat's down to um, four. I don't know what four is. The highest it goes is high. So high divided by four equals this. We're going to let it simmer for, I don't know, half an hour. That gives us time to drink more vodka and sodas with homegrown lemons. If that sounds alcoholic, we don't want alcoholism on this show. It gives us more time to drink lemonade. There's a little spiky influence in there. That's why we call it cooking under the influence, people. Okay? Wow, I've got a lot of head going on here. Gee whiz. Okay, it's been half an hour, 45 minutes, I don't know. Something like that. One last thing we're going to do before we finish it off. 
Let's get some nice crusty bread. Use a bread knife for bread, because I'm that kind of a guy. Let's pop our little chunk of bread in the toaster because toast. Some heavy cream. This is this is whipping cream because because it is. Put some cream, put like half of this thing in there. Remember what I said about fat and I don't really give a shit about fat? Because it makes the food so good. Oh, let's see how this looks. Let's see how it looks. How great does that look? Nice. Squash and Italian sausage. Who would have thought? Vegetarians. I don't care. Really. I mean, seriously. Okay, our bread's toasted. Yay. Let's get some of this yummy soup. We're gonna, it's not cold in New Orleans. It's 80 something degrees. We're gonna pretend it's cold because it's November. It might be cold where you're from. I don't know. Put it on a liner plate because eat like a human being. Don't eat like an animal. You can eat animals. Just don't eat like an animal. Who knew? Italian sausage and squash. Who knew how good this could be? What's going on with the hair? Something. I don't know. I'm, my head is shiny. Enjoy your accidental soup. I will see you next time. Until next time, adios and bon appetit. Oh, come on.